thank you for joining. I will do the introduction for the next panel and introduce the participants. So Dr. Mariam is a theater scholar, author, actress and director based in Berlin since 2005. She works as a scholar and artist there and in Tehran. Mariam publishes in German, English and Farsi on cultural art theory, philosophy and religious studies. Xiao Yi Liu is one of the most promising figures at the forefront of experimental theater scene in Asia, the recipient of the Young Artist Award by the National Arts Council of Singapore. He is the artistic director of Emergency Stairs in Singapore and artist in residence at Zuni, Ikasa Hidron in Hong Kong. Paula Chavez Bonilla is a Colombian director, performance artist, dancer, writer, activist based in Amsterdam. Her artistic research investigates social phenomena in a journalistic way, censorship and resistance, gender issues, art in a neoliberal capitalist context, and transforms her findings into theatrical performances. Thank you for joining and we will be in conversation around political control in relation to the subject of uh, political correctness. Maybe we can start with uh, a basic understanding of how the three of uh, how the three panelists perceive the con concept of political control in relation to political correctness. Um, can we start with you, Paula? Uh, hi everyone. Um, I thought of going uh, the third, so I was like, uh, yeah, waiting to to see what the others say. But I can totally start. So um, yeah, I think I will start with um, um, with a little reflection, and then maybe go into. I would be curious to go into conversation, but um, I'm I'm curious and. Um, I'm puzzled about how political correctness is being also weaponized as a way to um, to enforce a hegemonic culture. So to so also as a way how 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 this is also a um, because the terms of political correctness have mostly been developed in terms of language, not of practice, but in terms of languages and the ones that we know now they have been developed. In English, they have been developed in the North Globe, in Europe, in the US, UK. Um, and these have kept also like people outside of the conversation or have made several times people that uh, don't have access to this knowledge either because of uh, cultural reasons or because of class reasons um, have been kept outside of the conversation. So, um, so this I see it as a sign of like, yeah, of, 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 of something to be aware of and how do we hack this and how we stop reproducing this oppressive, this oppressive uh, dynamic as a way to, um, yeah, to keep alive conversations that need to happen rather than to um, stop it. Like, yeah, uh, I am, not make yeah uh, blocking them to happen if that if that makes some sense so um i'm curious of how yeah how is the relation between um politeness and and censorship in in a way mm -hmm. and dr mariam hi everyone um Thank you, Paula. I want to first of all say that uh, this this whole chance to to talk with you during this uh, this uh, last week was so much important for me, and um, I'm happy that we are just in the same panel and we can just discuss and follow all of the things that we talk about it maybe here. Um, I, I I want to make it really clear. First of all, uh, when um, when I was asked to to think or even to 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 uh, be in a, a um, residency about a political correct, correct, uh, correctness, I was just uh, 
shop because I definitely don't want to work with this, uh, with this, uh, uh, let's say, topic. It was always for me um, much more important to concentrate exactly on the on, on this other term which we are uh, talking about it now. Uh, 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 how the uh, authority, how the uh, uh, power is uh, uh, is working, and um, and in another way, um, for, as someone who is coming from research and uh, uh, um, trying always to to uh, go deeper and opening uh, a conversation about uh, topics that the people don't want to talk about it. So it it was always for me. Um, political correctness, it was always for me a topic who always stopped you uh, from, from discussing, yeah. from uh, making a, even a failure, which is very, very important. I think even um, because we, we uh, I, I heard it uh, so many times about, you know, like comparing the whole idea of uh, being correct and uh, let's say like this being correct and being polite. I, I think my um, in my opinion, the whole idea of political correctness is much more, uh, uh, let's say, uh, ideological and uh, um, much more concentrated uh, to uh, to pushing away any any way uh, any source of uh, of, uh, of uh, discussing and to to uh, education even. So if if you are talking with uh, as as a mother who have a son who always want to discuss with him about uh, different uh, uh, topics, about history, about uh, 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 political uh, power. Uh, it, it was always for me important to, to, to put this, this whole topics first away and start and then uh, give him the chance to think about different ideas. And, uh, um, and for me, this, this, top, this topic of political correctness uh, not as a theoretical, uh, 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 let's say not as, uh, uh, because we uh, just talking um, without giving any examples, uh, it will push us one more time to, to think about it as a, uh, um, and um, uh, to think about it as something which we cannot discuss. Uh, because I think uh, uh, the places or the topics that are, uh, uh, or have been put uh, put out, or just uh, have been uh, like uh, like they are like really burning issues uh, are important, and we should discuss about specific uh, moments or specific places that the political correctness is uh, important there. And with this, uh, a very important, uh, uh, let's say, and uh, topic, uh, the the discussion is just closed. Um, so for me, it's it's always uh, getting so much close to censorship. And uh, as someone who is uh, coming from Iran uh, and dealing all the time with censorship and with self censorship, um, it's it's very hard for me to uh, to discuss about this this topic without uh, mentioning uh, um, where we are uh, just putting this topic to to stop discussion. Thank you. Thank you. And Sherry. Oh, we can't hear you. So you maybe you are on the Chinese channel. How about now? How about now? Good. Yeah. How about now? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I was saying that I, I picked this topic very quickly because of my own uh, experience. Uh, I moved from uh, China to Singapore when I was very young. So, uh, so apparently I moved from a not so free place finally to another not so free place. And uh, recently I moved uh, to the city of Hong Kong. And uh, so yes, I agree with uh, Dr. Mariam, uh, that correctness sometimes is a very violent word. It shuts down conversations, uh, regardless of how we define political correctness. When something or someone tells you that there is right and wrong, there is a clear line between right and wrong. There is a difference between right and wrong in in, in things politically. That's definitely to me is a, already a form of 
control. And uh, and to me, because after we are told that there's right and wrong, the next step is usually to be told you can't do the wrong thing, you have to do the right thing. So uh, I think the question is whether there is a, a, a correctness that is uh, eternal and universal. And if so, then, then is this control the correct thing to do? And so I think firstly, uh, uh, it, are we aware of uh, a certain form of control and, and how do we react to it? And do we have an, an attitude toward it? Uh, secondly is, are we fine with the control? It's not just agreeing with uh, certain values, but also agreeing that some values are more correct than others. And, and that some values are more uh, worth imposing on us than others. Uh, does it bring uh, oppression when we agree that one value is more correct than another? Uh, thirdly, uh, what are the means of control? Uh, uh, do we agree with the, with the means of control? Uh, is the, 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 the rightness, the correctness of values the same as the rightness of control? Uh, we know that there are different ways and, and different degrees of control. Some controls are definitely more violent than others. So is, is there also some kind of correctness in political control? Yeah. Uh, when I was invited for this uh, exchange, one of the things I was interested to explore was the relationship between political correctness, cancel culture, and um, and the question of power. Um, because control also brings us back to the question of power, who has the power to impose. And one of the articles I was reading of this research, there's, there's, uh, there's two ways, because also the question of where this discourse of political correctness is coming from is key. But on one side, there is the feeling of from the anti-political correctness being that it's a tool for censorship and a tool for, for, um, for kind of curtailing freedom of expression. But on the other side also, there, there is a history of, uh, uh, of injustices, of, uh, of uh, issues to do with uh, uh, marginalization issues to do with economic, social, political um, uh, inequality, and there then the term the term takes a different form, where it's used as a way of asserting a certain kind of presence that in a discourse that has been in existence. And how so? Where is this balance? That where do we, where do we find the balance in this? Both as hey, let's discuss offense and the fact that it's rooted in a history of oppression and imperialism and at the same time how do we also not let that conversation lead into these into these traps of self-censorship censorship or uh, free of or freedom of expression how, where do you find the line um may i <laughs> yeah Apparently, I, I think we can, we can take this, what we're doing now as an example, as a case study. Apparently, there is no censorship uh, now in our discussion here. N uh, no one told us what, what we could or could not say, and no one told us to submit a script before today's sharing. And uh, we, But we put this event online, and now we have some audiences watching us. Uh, but uh, I still don't think that it, it needs to be censored by, by, by the laws of any uh, country. But we can't deny that uh, there are varying degrees of self-censorship on the, this uh, Zoom meeting at this moment. Uh, self-censorship comes from fears, maybe. When we are doing this public sharing, I'm thinking now as I speak, uh, when we do it as a public sharing, then it's a performance. So we are performing now. We are, we are, we are putting up a, a showcase now. 
and uh, so we are being watched. Uh, we have fear, and this fear brings self censorship. Of course, this self censorship uh, varies from person to person, and uh, from from place to place. Uh, we can't censure anyone because everyone is in a different social environment and, and the political correctness that they have to emphasize or have to be aware of in each uh, social environment is different. I think we have to acknowledge that self-censorship exists when, when, when we do this publicly uh, because of the political correctness of each of us. But I think the, the, um, the question in my mind now is, so what is the po political correctness of this public sh sharing? Is there <laughs> a, a, a certain uh, common understanding of the entire group? Is there a, a safety net for, 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 for maybe for some of us? And how do we negotiate this space? I, I just had a thought like connecting to what uh, Ubuntu brought up in terms of like where does political correctness come from um, and also what you were bringing before, uh, Shayo, we like um, about who's actually deciding with these frameworks and, and what I like, what maybe I find more limiting about the proposition of political correctness is that indeed it appears in a moment that there was a lot of like we're coming also from, right, like from colonization we start to talk about like certain topics just very recently so it's like i i do understand also this uh, as a good to mention like the kind of reminding ourselves of the lineage of why these things emerged the thing for me to be like uh, or this dangerous part for me is like that this has been an appropriation as i perceive it an appropriation of the system of the state of keep on controlling as to say like hey we are progressive so, for example, to get into a topic like in the Netherlands, to say like, hey, we are progressive, we are like pro-LGBT, so, so we are inclusive. And at the same time, while they're doing that, they're like, for example, disseminating Islamophobic um, beliefs, you know? And there is no conversation that we can have uh, about this topic. So rather than... Um, making us have important and difficult conversations because of course if we're talking about like we're talking about colonization we're talking about apartheid we're talking about um an occupation of a territory israel palestine like how do we talk about these things and just because there is a code of political correctness that doesn't mean that there is so many things that we need to talk uh, and discuss and have difficult conversations with because we are indeed not in the same position um so how to have that how to have that conversation rather than keeping ourselves uh, yeah polite um yeah um what is uh, uh, for me is very interesting is that if you go uh, deep to discussion through political correctness it's always end with other words which already have a history for example censorship you know, like coming to this very important question that is there any, I mean, I, I, I find it really, really uh, uh, fantastic this, this question, is there good or bad censorship? Um, personally, I think there is no good censorship. Yeah, but, but uh, I'm just uh, uh, thinking all the time uh, uh, about all of the concepts in art uh, that uh, that are not new. So even talking about censorship, then we come to another important word which has a long history, and we, are, we can discuss about it so many. I would say even deeper, uh, like the question, what is what is freedom? Yeah. Uh, but I know, for example, in Germany, if you want to talk about the question of uh, good censorship, it's always end with the question of, uh, but it's not bad to to make the whole. Uh, let's, uh, let's say, uh, um, uh, far right wing uh, uh, parties uh, forbidden. Um, so, and, and then there, there is the situation that it stopped all of the dialogue, but it's don't stay like this. For example, just uh, this is the, this is the, uh, what I mean by the, the discussions should be always like really concentrate, concentrate on what we are, I mean, which case we are talking about, you know, 
like for example um just to give you an example i uh, once wanted to work about the films who uh, which have been made uh, in the uh, uh nazi uh, regime like in the uh, third uh, reich uh, um, to to compare them with the films that have been made in the ddr uh, the, the the east germany and as you many of you uh, um, actually knows uh, there are so many of them which are uh, forbidden so it's very hard even to see them as a very important uh, example uh, uh, to, to watch to know about the history so this these are the uh, uh, let's say uh, uh, these these are the moments that you that you come to the point that uh, is it censorship is it just uh, uh, um, the the power who is deciding who is allowed to work or who discuss or to uh, 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 make his opinion about the uh, uh, about the subject, or um, is it really a kind of um, free way of uh, of doing research and art? Um, um, uh, Paola, this example about uh, uh, the question of religion, of course, and the question of Islam in Europe and Iran, which we both uh, discuss about it, is one of the I would say one of the perfect examples uh, that how this whole, whole idea of uh, political correctness can go really wrong. You know, like it stop uh, uh, the, the people in, uh, for example, in Germany to uh, the, the, the Muslim community to, to uh, support the, the Iranian revolution now because uh, the whole idea of uh, um, Islamophobia is, uh, is of course um, another subject in the whole concept of the North Europe and Germany. And why, and uh, when the people cannot, let's say, divide this whole idea and not discuss it in their, in their own way, then it comes to a kind of no communication. So I would say in um, mostly in um, just an example in the demonstrations which had happened uh, during the last weeks in, in Germany, in Berlin, I saw so few uh, people from the Muslim communities and it's so sad. It's really sad for me. So interesting. When I was told to take down the group photo on social media, no judgment, but I was very inspired. I was thinking, how can we design a workshop on, on online residency where we, we practice censorship and, and, and control together as a group? Uh, control by who, how to control, who set the rules, how do we measure, how do we evaluate, uh, how do we come to an agreement when everyone is so different, everyone's backgrounds are so different. And uh, so, so what is the, the, the correctness here? Is there a thing called correctness in this practice? Uh, how do we make the decision? Uh, is it about to uh, speak openly and, and honestly or to protect our friends and to protect ourselves? Is it about um, asking each other difficult questions uh, in order to trigger meaningful conversation or to respect each other's culture and, and not to hurt each other? Uh, that's one person's uh, censorship or correctness creates censorship of another person. That's one person's political correctness hurt another person's political correctness. And uh, yeah, uh, so, so how do we go about negotiating our differences? Uh, is there a correct way to negotiate? What is the political correctness of negotiation? Uh, thank you all for the perspectives. I wanted to, I, I, there's, there's two things. One, maybe context specific question, but before that, I wonder is if there is, if you, if there is in your research as you found a, an alternative. So for instance, like the, um, the proposal of the concept of agonism as a way of uh, being able to be together in our differences and be able to have these difficult conversations um, without feeling like we have to censor to 
or to check constantly. So are there concepts, ideas that you've encountered that offer an alternative? Because it feels like the way things are proceeding, it goes into a very hard deadlock and the only possibility is to take sides and then there is no more listening to each other. There is no more engaging. There, there is uh, two things popping up for me and um, one thing like also us um, yeah in the in the break and broke before there was something about that but I that because we we're talking about policing and how we internalize these systems of um, of political correctness and we end up policing each other um, but we are in a system like also now somebody said like yeah like I think yeah it was a you show you who said like we are all uh, coming from different backgrounds and we have this diversity but do we have we do have some things in common like i believe like all the countries where we're coming from they have a police and a carceral system so there is some things that we have in common and we reproduce this like these bigger uh, power structures are also reproduced inside ourselves so like how can we like as, as an alternative or good to, to come back to your question like for me it was like can i become like can i make mistakes for example can i have public mistakes can can mistakes are part of the conversation am i allowed to say something that is maybe not correct and um put myself in that space of not knowing everything <laughs> which is already yeah um and then another thing was like, how do, for me as likely as being a migrant and living between different cultures, Colombia and, and the Netherlands, there is something that I'm still not really good at, <laughs> but trying to make and is how do I translate, for example, a topic about political correctness in a certain topic? How do I translate it, for example, up about uh, healthy relationships. How do I translate that into my own culture in Colombia? How do I talk about certain concepts that there needs to be a certain type of translation of how they land within a different cultural background and how they are how they are being applied and how uh, we practice them. Um, I would add like. Um one sentence which is uh, always very important for me and it has it has to do with political correctness but it has to do even with the with so many other uh, um, topics like uh, the the idea of uh, having an opinion yeah so um, and to know that just to to have an opinion it's a process of learning so it cannot be that you or or anyone else as an 18 year old one have the same idea or having the same opinion um, uh, 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 just growing to be uh, 40 and it should not be like this and uh, uh, having the uh, having this choice uh, or just deciding to to uh, to following the idea of being political correct is for me uh, even for the young uh, people, the, the way pushing uh, this process of having an idea and having an opinion about different topics uh, away, like you are just following an idea and this is, this is the dangerous part that it's always have been, um, I mean, I, I would say this is exactly the dangerous part that uh, so many times the political correctness have been connected to the, even the uh, right wings. So, because it is, not uh, uh, working with the whole idea of of uh, studying and uh, uh, searching and uh, uh, making uh, a, a failure, which is uh, a part of being human. Shall we? Uh, I have nothing much to add. I think it's time to move to break up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe I can just add one line. <laughs> I still believe the power of culture and arts. I think culture and arts can provide the space for dialogue. <laughs> yeah. Maybe before there is the question that was posed there about 
public shame. And of course, there is no way of escaping control without discussing the dynamic of guilt shame um, as also a way of uh, uh, control, social control and political control. And in various reasons, whether that is a religious, uh, cultural, um, uh, political. So how do we address this guilt shame complex in relation to this? Is it something that has to be a conversation that we have a group or is it something that is also internal and and addresses how we are conditioned also to be in public especially given that we are social we're social animals and guilt shame is such a controlling aspect of that <laughs> 